Hi guys, my name's Tudor. I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back. Now today, I'm going to be deciding what to do with the inside of this tower here, but uh, whilst I'm doing that, I also want to go through the most recent community letter at time of recording, which is uh, Thursday, because I record um, a week in advance, and so as a result, it does mean that sometimes... That's not going to work. That sometimes I am just... Uh, Somewhat late to the party, I suppose. Um, but such is the way of things. Um, and as a result, I want to go and take a look at this because there's something in this community letter that I'm actually really kind of excited about because I've been making videos about it and talking about it far too much since... Yep, okay, that, that works. Uh, since it was first really announced and talked about, and that is the purge. But let's let's go through the, the community letter from um, Jens Eric first in full, and let's go through it in order. So first off, uh, he starts talking about the, the stuff that was shown off in the live stream. If you guys haven't watched the, uh, the live stream from... What, last Friday at time of recording, so by the time you guys are watching this, it'll be the the quite a while before, um, where you've got Oscar and Jens showing off the new um, various bits and pieces in terms of um, the, the bow mechanics and um, some of the new creature bits and pieces. Then uh, I'd suggest you go watch that because some of that stuff is just pretty cool. Um, but uh, also, it, it to me in watching it, I was I was sat there going, they've turned, come on, they've turned uh, the the bow seemingly into um, what is essentially kind of a, a McCree pistol from what I could see, where it's got several shots but then can also um, snipe as it were so it's it's a case of um, like there's some very interesting stuff there to look forward to but then we also got shown off uh, some of the stuff in regards to um, creature animations they had a mammoth that was rising up that looked absolutely terrifying um, to, to face off against but in the best possible way um, and then furthermore, we got some other little bits and pieces about kind of armor, armor tiering and how it's all going to be um, kind of worked out for us so that when we unlock certain things, we unlock lots of different things and how some stuff's still going to be on thralls, but a lot of stuff is going to be um, more reasonably accessible to us so that we don't have to continue to um, flounder around at times looking for the right stuff just to make something that is... Basically, um, I've already got myself lost. There it is. Um, that is basically identical to some of the stuff that we can already make, just with a slightly different look to it. Uh, they were talking about balance, and they were talking about other bits and pieces in regards to that as well, which all sounded good to me. But then, more importantly, we get on to some of the stuff that they've they've been talking about in regards to the work that they're doing at the moment. So the first thing that they the, the is included in the letter is um, they start talking about the the telegraphing of hmm, they start talking about the telegraphing of attacks for creatures and how certain creatures are going to be getting special attacks uh, and all that kind of thing, which sounds fairly exciting to me. All told, um, you know, something definitely that's that's worth. Um, paying attention to and or looking forward to uh, but then also like it's one of the things that we've been arguably missing for a while where we've had um, can we no okay um, but where we've had um, kind of creatures kicking around the we know that they, they that they have certain attacks you know that, that they can charge or that they can lunge or that they can do other bits and pieces like that but hmm. but there's been no real indicator of that happening until it happens um, you know it, it can take us by surprise it can cause us some problems and so as a result 
kind of keeping that in mind, um, the the telegraphing of attacks to me sounds like something the the has been kind of sorely missed and also something that is definitely going to be uh, more worthwhile with the AI changes and improvements and things that apparently we are going to be seeing um, in regards to uh, especially human NPCs and things like that um, so we've we've got a lot of stuff to kind of look forward to for the time being um, how exactly some of these some of the creatures will will interact with us is as unknown in the community letter they've got a scorpion kind of kind of winding up to attack you've got a gazelle trying to to or a deer of some sort trying to attack us with its horns um and that all seems very interesting and kind of cool in the way that they've done it but at the same time do you know what i think we're gonna have to do that aren't we yeah um but at the same time we've got um, some very interesting things that could come out of this. Because again, the the combat system being improved, the AI being improved, um, it all kind of pushes forward with some of the stuff that we've been wanting for a while. Uh, stuff like the Purge, stuff like um, the, the various other small bits and pieces around uh, thralls being more intelligent and potentially being able to defend our actually defend our bases and help us out or um, some of the other stuff that we've we've kind of maybe been hoping for but which we're not unfortunately we're not going to get uh, just due to the the way that everything has panned out and what they are um, able to put into the um, the final build of the game so or the golden build I suppose uh, of the game which as they also as, as is also stated in the community letter um, they have about three weeks from yesterday at time of recording to solidify what that means what that build is going to be how they are going to make it work I've just realized that I kind of oops, mm, do you know what? let's do this because it's fun um, and so, as you know, they've they've got three weeks to do that, and then other than that, they've got everything else. Um, the from from that point onwards is going to be around the uh, creation and development of um, kind of various bug fixes and the the various other bits and pieces around polish and making sure the game is all nice and shiny and ready to go for when we can get our hands on it. So, you know, we've we've got a lot of, of stuff there that we can make good use of and I'm looking forward to, especially in regards to creatures having um, kind of both more attacks, more interesting attacks, but also in regards to creatures just generally being more challenging and fun to take on in some way. Um, so, you know, all of that sounds sounds good to me. But then we're moving on to the terraformers. Their, their team that, that so far has been working on uh, the new biomes and things like that. And it's interesting because the new biomes have been mentioned a lot in every other community letter up until this one. And here they're not mentioned at all because the terraformers are in fact working on the purge. The thing that I've been looking forward to for so long as a PV kind of a PVE major threat. And so where they say they've been they've been putting it together, implementing it, and then they've been playtesting it internally to try and make it work. Um, one of the interesting things that is mentioned here is also though the um, the they're going to iterate on that internally first to see how they can, which again they've been doing all along. But then they go into how it's actually going to work, and obviously it's it's already been said that this has been scaled down. So where before they were talking about big armies with heroes and, and the possible potential for not just attacking bases but laying siege to them, uh, whilst we're seemingly not going to have that much um, in regards to that kind of thing, unfortunately, um, they what they are saying is that there will be um, groups of creatures that will spawn in and attack bases. Which, to me, exactly what I wanted. I, I just, I... Really?
that. But huh. Um but yeah, so they're 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 doing that. It all sounds very cool, very interesting. Um but obviously we'll have to see how it actually gets uh, panned out and we'll have to see what happens what happens with it because as said I'm looking forward to it I'm still building all these bases these huge bases to put uh, the prince the kind of defensive building principles that have been talked about before um, into practice to test them to see which ones work best um, and how be how best we can use it but the way that they sum it up is the purge mechanic will spawn in creatures and NPCs to attack your base in order to destroy things even when you're not logged in. Now, uh, the one thing that I'm curious about is whether the when you're even when you're not logged in part does that apply? Is that going to apply to uh, your, your single player individuals like I have been for um, quite a substantial period of time in building all of this stuff out for um for the the tests that I've been doing and and stuff like that so will I you know once it's implemented log off at some point come back and then find in fact that something has has come in laid waste to my base and uh you know I've I've had no real way of preventing it or challenging it or or ca causing some kind of stoppage you know it's it's going to be interesting to see if there's that that kind of random element of yes well now that you have done this um whoops uh now that you've done this we are going to to where every time you load in randomly decide whether or not your base has been attacked i would like to think that they wouldn't do that because then for single player especially where you may very well have your decay turned right down like I do so that I can build all of these big bases and so that nothing's just going to degenerate um, uh, at, at any real rate so that I can actually get the work done that I want to get done. You know, it's... it's Oh, dear. Ha. Um, you know, it's... it's Will there be a kind of limit to it for uh, when you are just not turned on at all like having it for servers fine makes perfect sense the server's still going to be running even if you're not logged in but in regards to um the the more single player side of things it is maybe a little concerning if they go yeah well in that case there'll be an rng element of it where your base will be attacked kind of uh, as a kind of almost retcon to the timeline of your game uh, based around when you log in uh, and what's what the game decides so I don't think they're going to do that that seems a little unfair and it seems a little um, kind of it seems hard work to actually do to pull off um, you know if you've you've got um, elements of, of your game that are having to run in various ways anyway that, that might be a little more um, difficult to pull off then why would you make it harder for yourself to then also add weird RNG elements that can potentially uh, mess stuff up even more you know it, it doesn't make sense to me that for, for them to do that so you know so far most of the stuff that they've done has been fairly common sense fairly straightforward so I don't think we're going to be seeing anything uh, quite so harsh you know in which case the purge for a single player game will be um, very easy to spot very directive the one thing that I'd like to think that they would prevent somehow would be if a purge starts you can't in a single player game you can't just log out and uh, and expect to be safe as a result of it you know because that that seems a little cheesy to me you know, it seems like you're getting away with uh, avoiding parts of the game. You know, in which case, if that was the case, then I would be happier with some element of, um, like, the, the game kind of telling you off for just running away like a pansy. Um, but, again, we'll kind of have to, to see what... Whoops. We'll kind of have to see what comes about from, uh, from that overall. But then they also say, 
when my phone will open up again. They also say uh, you'll need to consider placement of traps, walls, thralls, and other defenses to protect your stuff, which is kind of what I've been trying to uh, build out and consider with these purge-proof bases. You know, this, this tower in and of itself is also going to have um, an element of that when it comes to uh, it being finished. So, you know, the, this, this entire base has been... Um, kind of built with that in mind even though I've unlike some of the others where I feel like I was a bit more meticulous and a bit more watertight in the the kind of pattern that I was following to build these things um, you know here it's going to be more vulnerable and it's going to be deliberately more vulnerable uh, to test stuff out some more so you know I'm, I'm curious as to how exactly um, it's all going to pan out and that's Kind of probably as, as as the purge gets uh, released, I'm probably going to be maybe disabling it, depending on how much of these bases I've still got for, to to build out. But then, for instance, the the one thing that I've got to do with the the uh, the tower, the first purge proof base that I built, literally one thing that I've got to do with it, and that's just go around all those thralls that disappeared for the longest time, kit them up. Give them, give them the the weapons and equipment that I wanted them to have in the first place, um, and then we can crack on and see what happens after that. Um, in regards to uh, this base, for instance, considering this is by far the largest endeavor, then I I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. It might be a case of kind of turning it on and off um, to to suit purpose, as it were, and kind of seeing what we can do. Um, to manage it, to make it the the fairest kind of experiment overall, but we'll we'll have to take a look at that when it it comes along. And then they say that the the purge mechanic will be active on all official servers. On private servers, an administrator can customize and configure the purge or turn it on and off completely if they choose. So, you know, as said, that'll allow us uh, to try and and in sure that we've got some good experiments some good tests of what the purge actually is and how it's going to be handleable and you know what kind of bases we're going to have to 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 build and what kind of principles we should keep in mind when it comes to defensive building so you know we can we can tackle that we can see what traps work best because you know i like me my uh, my gas traps but if the explosive traps as kind of anti-personnel mines work out better then you know, I might not have the the option of using gas traps for anything other than very specific areas with limited kind of escape routes, so that they can't get away from the gas. Otherwise, the flash of, of of damage and death that's caused by um, that's caused by our um, explosive traps may very well be the best option. So, you know, we're going to have to keep all of that in mind when it comes to uh, building this stuff out overall um, and making it all functional and workable but you know I'm 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 excited I don't know how many other people actually gave two craps about the purge overall um, I know that there are an awful lot of people that enjoy this game purely for RP purely for for PvP and uh, and stuff, but I'm here to, to play, to test, to enjoy, and, and to try out every facet of the game. Like, the one part that doesn't bother me so much is the PvP, but that's because I prefer to work with people rather than against them. That isn't where I wanted you to go. So, you know, that uh, the, the purge being now worked on and added is, is great in my opinion, although they also say that the Terraformers are working on the new... Um, intro cinematic to give us more context for how we turn up um, at the beginning of the game after being cut down by Conan. Conan apparently has his mouth moving now because they've given him bones, like a facial skeletal structure underneath so that he can function um, as as a, a communicator. So, you know, that, that all sounds uh, pretty cool to me and I'm interested to see what they do with that and, and what kind of additional context and, uh, and other stuff they provide us with that cinematic at the beginning. Um, but again, the thing that stands out to me is that there's no mention of the new biomes, either the volcano or the jungle. And so with that in mind, I can't, you know, they said that those were coming at launch. Great. 
So uh, that them not being mentioned kind of makes me think that they're done and it's just polishing and tidying stuff up. Um, you know, as as we've seen prior with bits and pieces where they where on dev streams they've had the big purple trees and purple mountains and things whilst they're testing stuff out and trying things out. I'd imagine. Excuse me. I'd imagine that we're probably seeing the um, the bits and pieces for the uh, the two new biomes in that kind of uh, finalizing and kind of polishing, uh, make it look pretty phase. Um, so you know, if if um, if that's where we're at with that, great. Sounds good to me. Um, but also, there's a lot of stuff that they're having to put to put together for the golden build um, and I'm thinking that we're probably going to like we did with the frozen north update the frozen north expansion to the map um, we saw a lot of stuff all added in in kind of one fell swoop and I feel like possibly the um, the elements of the game like the um, the, the new combat system, the new biomes, the new crafting materials, all the new other stuff might all be added again in one big go once they have settled on the, the final golden build for release. Because then, as they say in the, the community letter, everything else after that is going to be um, kind of the, the polish, the, the optimizations, the make it all shiny, make it all work well, uh, which we're looking forward to you know there, there there are still crash bugs and certain issues with this game um especially on uh kind of online play with lots of players you know i mean we i play this game in my own time with uh with hannah and when we play that and when we're just we're just looking to build and have fun and mess around um but when we're looking to do that it is a bit taxing when at times the game just decides to crash uh, randomly or semi randomly and that's that's just kind of the way it is but at the same time hopefully those kind of bugs those kind of issues will uh, be resolved sooner rather than later um, but you know hey we'll have to to see what those kind of optimizations and things um, kind of take place in the form of when you know when they actually get uh, rolled out but anyway, the other things that they're working on, um, you've got the the guys who are on their combat team who are now, you know, they're polishing the the target locking uh, kind of system. They've opened the camera up a little bit, which part of me was like, eh, did 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 you have to? Was that really a, a thing? Um, but I guess there there is an element of well, if if um, you can't see at all then you know it doesn't matter if you're trying to limit it for balance uh so that your your um kind of more skill focused you know skill wanting players are are going to be tackling people without the um the lock on but then you know you can't punish people who don't want to use it too severely but you know it's 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 that balancing act that they're trying to pull off and it's a difficult one to pull off so it's going to be interesting to see in action once they've finished things off so that we can actually get our hands on it try it all out properly um and it's in its final form uh they're they're again also polishing off the whole bows thing where they've you've now got a combo on the the basic bow um attack but then you've got the the on a charge shot with the um, zoom in on the heavy attack so that that all sounds cool to me um, I'm looking forward to seeing that but then also now that they're in this kind of finalized state for the the way that the combat system is for the time being and and that they seem to want it to be uh, one of the things that they've said that they're now going to be looking at doing is a full kind of balance not just for fairness but also for fun so if something is if a combo has the uh, set of status effects on it that work very well but aren't necessarily all that fulfilling to land if they're not that much fun to use 
then you know they're, they're going to be looking to balance that out just as much in some ways as uh, if they were going to balance out um, bits and pieces for purely what's overpowered and what isn't. So, you know, and uh, as I've said before, I kind of trust Funcom uh, with some of this stuff just because, you know, in the other games of theirs that I've played, I've not, you know, which is the majority of them actually thinking about it as far as I'm aware, um, you know, it's they've they've always seemingly managed things like balance quite well and they've they've been quite attentive uh, to the needs of their, their players and the way that people want to play. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good about whether or not they're going to be able to manage and polish off and do everything the way that they want to do, which, again, sounds slightly worrying just as I say it that way but it should be fine and good they've already done a lot of stuff they've already put in a whole load of stuff that I was wanting you know uh, they, they made it a combo system uh, with um, kind of clicks and, and button presses as opposed to a combo system that's more directional uh, but at the same time it still basically gives me what I wanted so I'm happy and I'm looking forward to it um, the next though couple of things that that they're still working on. You've got um, their Vanguard team looking at a whole load of um, kind of crash bugs and other bits and pieces, which again, thankful. Uh, the I'm thankful that they're doing that because you know when there are only two of us on a server, and you know Hannah's PC because we're running it on uh, her game because obviously I'm building this stuff here for you guys and for testing. So you know where we've. Um, where we've been playing together, we've been doing it on her game. Her PC is is you know capable of, of running it quite happily, and yet you know we've still had these moments of crashes of problems, and some of it could be internet based. I will give you that. There are there are times when it is incredibly possible, but it is it is purely a, an internet issue. However, there are also many times. <laughs> when there has been absolutely nothing wrong with the internet, absolutely nothing wrong with anything that we've been doing, and yet it still turns out that we are um, essentially having to to kind of restart our game and try and find out where we were and you know make sure that everything that we had already built is still built where it's not you know it's not been saved by whatever by the system. And you know that gets a bit tiring. So I'm hopeful that you know their their team that's working on these crashes, working on these bug issues, um, will uh, will resolve some of those, so that we're we're not left in that kind of situation um, again. But the other big thing that their their uh, Vanguard team is currently working on is a remote control or remote access system. For uh, private servers, which I, I from from a couple of people that I've talked to, you know, they're they're looking forward to having something like this, or it's something that they've wanted for a while because it's like I might be doing something, but then someone raises an issue with me on the server, and I'm not there to to log into the game, take a look, tackle it there and then, and solve the problem. So the server might be down or you know, people might not have access to their stuff for a while or something's broken. So, you know, I've, I've seen a few people being kind of very keen on this as well as some of the, the individuals that I've bounced ideas around with, both friends, people that I've met online, whatever. You know, this seems to be a positive thing that's being talked about, even though I've only got one evening's worth of conversation on it so far. You know, the, the system that will allow people to jump in spawn items, kick players, ban players, uh, gain access to a whole load of admin commands uh, that are available for um, the, the server that they have, uh, as well as other bits and pieces, you know, and, and in conjunction with um, certain mods as well, potentially, um, that's, you know, there, there's a potential for giving that um, server admin a fair amount of control, even though they're not are going to be there considering what's you know 
certain mods like Pippi, for instance, if that works, if those admin commands work with uh, this Archon uh, pro uh, program or this Archon piece of software that they're adding, um, then you know it'll be uh, particularly useful to people because there's just so much control that people will have without having to jump into the game, without having to tackle um, the the issues through the game by having time to log in, by having time to do all of this stuff. You know, it it provides that little bit of extra help and access and incentive for people to actually uh, curate servers and be able to do it well as well because. You know, that's one of the problems that happens with certain people that curate servers for various games. Um, you know, I've bumped into individuals that have maybe not had the best ethic when it's come to uh, kind of tackling games and, and the way that they want to run their servers. And it becomes a bit of a mess just because, again, some people get bored, some people don't want to do stuff anymore. And when that comes to pass I'm gonna see if I can make this roof work now um, but when that comes to pass then you've got um, a kind of collection of issues that revolve anywhere for around anything from people just not being on top of their game and leaving things to to kind of break and collapse or you've got the the issues of um, kind of people not being able to get in touch with uh, an admin or a, a server provider and it, it becomes a bit of a, a mess okay so that won't that won't fit can we can we do anything with these no I managed to make a really cool roof with these the other day actually on on Hannah's game where it just kind of concertinaed inwards until it settled happily and oh my god we're going off the edge okay fine no up we go um, but yeah, so that's the the set of things that were discussed in the as of you know at the time of recording the the community letter that went out. Um, it's some interesting stuff, and it sounds like we're maybe a month or two away from maybe another really big update that just has everything the the we want in it. Like I wouldn't be surprised if once they've got the bits and pieces for the, the combat system completed. Um, I wouldn't at all be surprised if then uh, we saw the new biomes roll out, both the volcano and the, the jungle, and then with all of the different bits and pieces, the new gods, the new, um, the new combat system and everything else just rolled together. You know, I'd very much um, like to see something like that roll in, but again, we'll have to to kind of wait and see I guess because unfortunately whilst Funcom have been very transparent and I have really enjoy their community letters and their live streams and things like that it's still a case of um, they have to keep stuff close to their chest for a while until everything's sorted because if they don't then you know as Joel Bylos has said if they, they start promising things, if they start putting stuff out there and they can't do it or it's gonna work differently or it's gonna it's it's broken so they need more time on it, then they're not gonna be able to um, live up to what they've said they want to. So whilst um, whilst we wait though, I'm gonna to continue to, to do various videos and bits and pieces. I know this has maybe not been the most entertaining video again, guys, because I've literally just been building out this uh, this kind of purge proof base with various ideas like the the cascading walkway of, of death that, that's down there that, so that we've always got some kind of coverage with archers on each bridge as we come up and so we've got space that we can use as well um, you know I'm I'm interested to kind of tackle the the purge uh, at times I want I, I want to know if we can spawn a purge in on command because I feel like that's going to be something that I Firstly, I would find useful for testing stuff out and seeing how this works, but also in an RP server where an admin is effect effectively taking on the role of the storyteller, um, having a random attack that they can just throw straight in, spawn at that po at their point, and all that all that kind of thing. I feel like that would be a useful tool as well. 
So we'll have to see, but hopefully considering they're working on the purge and there's no mention of the new biomes and stuff, the new biomes are just getting polished up. Um, the new combat system seems very close to being kind of sorted and finished. And then the with the purge, it's apparently being worked on now. It's being implemented and tested. So hopefully the new AI that they've put in is facilitating that. And we'll see it coming out at some point soon. And either way, we've only got about three more weeks before... Um, everything that has to be in the game in the build of the game that they're going to put on cds on on discs um and that they they have ready for um launch with their day one patch you know they're they're all looking towards that and that's what they're having to work on so hopefully at some point soon we'll get uh something interesting from that in regards to uh, a big update of some sort that just drops everything for us but either way guys thank you very much for watching again i'm sorry the the, the visuals here have just been me talking at you guys whilst occasionally looking down at the at the newsletter itself and me building up this tower but hopefully when i've finished this off um you will have a an, it, we will have an interesting thing to to see what we can do with the various purges and the enemies and other bits and pieces that we can drop in and challenge to try and take this tower try and take this base try and take the other bases and so on and even though the purges have been scaled down so potentially the uh the huge ass foundation based curtain wall that i've been building out there may serve less of a purpose or might serve more of a purpose because we've got that huge curtain wall which granted still needs finishing but we've got the huge curtain wall that, that will just prevent them from getting inside full stop. So, you know, if, if that's the the thing that we're looking at here, then that's only ever going to be a positive thing, right? So we'll, we'll have to see how that pans out. You know, it obviously still needs finishing off. It still needs tidying up. I need to, to build the canopy that I wanted to build as well. Um, which is a lower priority because the canopy was there specifically to try and prevent siege uh, weapons from firing over the wall. But um, I still want to build it because I think it'll look cool. So, and I'll admit, I've, I, when, when it comes to restarting the game at full release and doing everything, I'm going to be a bit sad to lose the, the huge bases and things that I've built because I've enjoyed building them a lot. But I'll have them in videos, I'll have tested them with you guys, and we'll see what happens. So, eh. Maybe I can end up building another huge one when it actually comes to full release. So, either way, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Again, I would really suggest that you go and check out the live streams, especially the last kind of two or three, because there's there was the showcase of the Pippi mod, which I use with Hannah on her game. I haven't been using it in this game. Uh, because I, there's no real need for it, um, but it is a, a great tool, and the the tech manual that you can get um, for it from their, their the Steam Workshop page um, doesn't even seem to cover half of what the mod is completely capable of. So it's it's um, it's good. It's great at telling you kind of how to make it work, but there's still so much potential there. The the kind of isn't tackled in the fullest so it's a great way to get into it but then obviously there's a lot of playing around and testing out and checking things out that you can do to make it kind of run the way you want it to which is great personalization customization all that kind of thing is is great as far as i'm concerned uh but then also more recently the the dev streams that they have done on the new weapons the new animations the new combat system especially the last one where we get to see some of the new creatures and the way they attack i i suggest checking all of those out um either way there will be well, there will have been or no there won't be another live stream i don't think there'll be another live stream by the time you are watching this video the the evening that this video comes out so uh, go and tune into that as well i guess i don't know what they'd be talking about but i'm sure it'll be interesting otherwise guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the video tomorrow take care Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop us a like, share this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.